Also, I didn't adjust my mic before this, so if I need to adjust it now, now is a good time to tell me. I've been tweaking you from the mixer. He's, oh, okay. He's tweaking you. Uh, he's, got your, he's got your nipples on a clamp. I'm being tweaked. <laughs> All right, Juan. Why is your face not in a little little square? I need you. I need you right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There right. he is. There I am. Hi, right, everybody. I'm Anthony. And I'm Josh. And that's I'm Juan. That's Juan up there. Yeah. See, you got Juan up there. It's Juan. <laughs> it's Juan. And this is what's happening in Myrtle Beach Games this week. All right, so here's some some games we got in. Uh, this is a restock. Uh, Bloodborne, the card, the card game. Card game. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had that expansion on the shelf. This was almost another abyss. I was about to say <laughs> it's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got the we got the card game finally. We got the base game of that, and so Dead by Daylight, right, the board so game. I think people. So, so there are some street dates on this stuff. Okay. Um, just need to put that out there because this uh, Asthma Day is shut down next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they so, shut down yeah, for like five yeah. or six days. Yeah, so they can't ship out. So they shipped out a lot of stuff early. Yeah. Uh, but people are, are hyped on this game. I mean, it's a good video game. I, I, Toxic I, online, but hey, still, still good concepts. Overall. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really looked at it. It kind of, yeah, it kind of looks like a zombie survival game. Oh, but the one thing about this game, it is a one v game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, how normal Dead Love is. Yeah, Deadlock is. so it, it's, a, it's just like the, the video game. It's 1v at least 2. So it's a 3-5 three, three to five mm-hmm. player. Uh, so Quacks we got expansion. the Quacks expansions. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about this the other day, the other week that we were getting all this stuff. So we got the Herb Witches, the Alchemists. And now the Mega Box. And the Mega Box, oh. which is basically the Herb Witches, the Al- uh, Alchemists, and the base game. Mm-hmm. All in one box. And it's actually cheap. Like it yeah, is, it's it is worth getting that. cheap, yeah, dude. Like it is definitely worth. If you don't have Quacks already, Which, obviously, why don't you? Yeah, <laughs> but if you don't, we have a couple copies of this, so you should definitely come down and just get it all for only like twenty bucks less than the base game, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> or twenty bucks more than the base game. Sorry. Yeah, that's. Uh, we also got this. If this is next, I'm thinking. It. Yes, it will. Quacks and Co. So what is this? This is a kids version. Oh, it's not. I thought it was like a spinoff or something. It's kind of a spinoff. It's not exactly uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg. It's in the uh, Quacks world, but it's uh, you know it's a, it's a kids version. It's a family version of the game. Mm-hmm. So, good way to get your kids into board games. Bears, Bears Rose, Babies, Babies restock. Another restock. The fuzzy box. <laughs> the box is actually fuzzy. It's, yeah. I've never played it, but I. I this is one a, of those it's a games. Silly card game. Yeah. This is but well, this is one of those games that that I love. Because when a customer comes up and talks to me about the game, it's not about what strategy they use or what. It, it's about the cool thing that happened with yeah. the bear eating the <laughs> baby or whatever the hell. Yeah, the, the, ba- the it's like it's oh, like, I made a, a baby story. with like a with like a lobster body or something. Yeah, like it's yeah. it's it's the it's the story that I hear about the game, not the mm-hmm. gameplay of the game. Which so. is how I feel a lot of exploding kitten games are, which mm-hmm. is fun. Yep. You know, you don't have to talk about the strats. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, oh! Alright, so we did get the, the, the main game back in. Uh, we also got in Importing. Importing, which I think is, we only had one copy and they sold it today. Yeah, yeah. I did so sell that's it. That's gone. And Exploding, Exploding minions. minions. There's one more, Juan. Did you, did you there, grab that? There should be one more. There Zombie it is. Zombie That's new. Yeah, that is that, actually That's new. new. So uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. I think the mechanic in this... And I hate to be the guy to be like, oh, the mechanics in this one. Yeah. The, it's like, okay, well, if you die, you can come back. Oh, as a zombie. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, if you've been exploded, yeah, uh, you're going to come back in pieces. But whatever. It's whatever. Whatever the concept is, I just like the fact that they uh, they threw something completely new out there instead of <laughs> rehashing some of the other stuff. Right. Poetry right. for Neanderthals. This is, Let's this go. is your game. <laughs> Me love game <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, all right so it's just another silly game by the same company and then the, the not safe for work edition oh i gotta pick <laughs> I, I gotta pick this up you've got crabs so well, i don't understand what in the world this game is it is no one's is, told me about this it's cards against humanity oh gotcha that's all it is it's cards against humanity from a different company i was about to say like i know like everyone 
I'm pretty sure. I like the name of the game. It's funny. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm like, I've never understood what the game. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, I was, was gonna say I don't there know. There was about... another game. So no, I'm thinking uh, it's it's crabs against something else, and it was their, their <laughs> knockoff on the game. So this I don't know what this is. Then I, I bought yeah. this thing, and it was the other game. Uh, let's see. You've got crabs for teams of two players each. Max five teams. Each team meets privately to come up with a non-vocal sign to indicate when either teammate collects swore the same crab card. But uh, one, I don't know. This that's weird. What? That gameplay like, sounds very uh, simplified. There's go probably fish. a little bit more to it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. All right. No, that's the board game geek version. Okay. Cool. Sounds like sounds like a, like a cheap rummy uh throw throw burrito i mean we had the extreme edition but we were out of the main game so so Love got that. the main game hand okay. to hand wombat yeah i, sound, I so, sounds great so it looks like a, di- a dexterity game where you're blindfolded it could that's, be. i think that's what it uh, so it's like i know it's a dexterity game i was reading the box i just didn't i didn't know about the blindfolds yeah so i guess or like you close your eyes or whatever and yeah, like yeah. you have to vote out who you think knocked it over or whatever so you're trying to get rid of the people who are knocking shit over uh, okay gotcha yeah codenames duet uh turns out we didn't need it but I <laughs> okay it anyway. it's, uh, it's a fun game yeah i'm not i'm not sold on the duet the no. two-player version of it yeah it's mm-hmm. fine it's all right so oh clover. yes another another hitter yeah it's a great so game clover. uh so i got this because guy asked me to get it for him so hopefully we don't sell both of these copies before <laughs> well <it>. um <laughs> i got one so. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we haven't had this in so long yeah right? and it's great a lot of the travel games that their pieces are so small even the zombicide one yeah I, I like it don't get me wrong but you have you can't you have to roll your own you have to bring dice because you can't use the stupid dice on the side <laughs> um and it's kind of cool to have all those little zombie minis and all that but uh, this one actually does it way better. Mm-hmm. I think this is probably the best travel version of a classic board game that I've, I've uh, opened up and played around with. Cavendish. All right, so this is a Time Stories game. Yes. We put this with Time Stories, didn't we? I think I did. Uh, I don't yeah, know. I, I saw it. Yeah. So if you come in looking for this game, it's not in the C section. It's in the, the T section with Time Stories because it's actually part of Time Stories Revolutions. Except it is also a standalone. It is a standalone, so it's not even compatible. Yeah. Right. It's just its own thing it's based own in thing. the time stories. Yeah, made by that universe. Company. I don't really know if you would. It's think not universe. a universe. No. Yeah, no. but the, more just like time stories. Like it's weird how time stories had time stories and all those expansions, and then you just came out with revolutions yeah. and like abandoned making any more expansions for the original time stories. Yeah, uh, I was a little upset about that. Like, well, what are you doing? This was a great game. It sold like crazy. Everybody loved it. But now we're getting standalone versions of the game and they're small they're not they're like that's not an expensive game i think it's 30 bucks uh mysterium finally got a restock of mysterium here that's good we, we need that because we would just, good one we sell out of that like crazy and for good reasons it's a good game yeah yeah caverna i mean we have the the expansion we just got we didn't have the the actual base game right we had the big box game i don't know what that big big box game is it's not caverna it's not the main what? game yeah, it's not the main game. It's I I, I don't know what's in it's, there. I know it's like a two player, isn't it? Uh, maybe it's a two player version of it. Okay. I think it's Caverna for two players, big box. Okay. Cool. I don't. Maybe, maybe it has expansions too. I'm maybe, not sure. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know. All right. I mean, this is a that's a heavy euro. This is speaking of euros. This is kind of a euro as well. Uh, but it's this this one is actually uh, kind of a simplified euro. I mean, it's ages ten and up. Right. Um, I mean, I don't know if I would have my ten year old play this, so I didn't put it in the family section. I put it in the board game <laughs> section. Canvas. This is uh, this is Josh's favorite. Yeah, it's. Dude, I love pretty pictures. What can I say? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, definitely. If you are an art fan, get this game. I just the fucking art pieces in this game are fantastic. Very simple concept too. Literally, you just stack pictures on top of other pictures mm-hmm. to make pictures. Yep. I love it. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with this. Yeah, I, I like that. That. The clear plastic cards that mm-hmm. you kind of stack. I remember the game Gloom, or did you never play Gloom? Gloom? Haven't played Gloom. Yeah, all right. So we're going to get Gloom in, and I'll, 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 we'll have a 
I'll show you how that game okay. works. Because it's basically the same thing, but not art. It's uh, ways to die or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, I think I've seen that on the shelf, yeah. but I haven't played it. Well, that's, uh, that's we do have Munchkin Gloom, which is based, based Well, no, on no, there's the, it's like a purple box, isn't it? It's Munchkin Gloom, yeah. We no. don't actually have Gloom. You did? No, we haven't had It was like a years. small, like, purple box. Like, like this big? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I definitely have seen it. But I didn't know is it, it on had the, clear is it on consignment rack. Might it's be on either consignment. on consignment rack or it was on main shelf and then it got sold. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, all right. Okay. Princess Bride <laughs> Battle of Wits. I brought one of these home. Okay. <laughs> My wife is a huge Princess Bride fan. But uh, if you remember the scene in this movie, in that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits for the princess. To the death, I accept. Good. Then pour the wine. The, the poison and the chal and the mm -hmm. chalices. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. So this is, you. I mean, you read the box. I just figured that's what it was because that was a battle. The battle of wits. I mean, scene. you were right. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brains. Inconceivable. You keep using the horde. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> That's, that actually sounds kind of like how I sound right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's probably the best scene in the whole movie. I'm not. I'm not a huge Princess Bride fan, but I love that scene. All right, these things. So the, you were, you were explaining these were a matching game. Yes, basically. a memory game. Yes, yeah, so all these are memory games, uh, and they each have their different themes. Mm -hmm. So preferably younger kids. Um, well, it's ages like four and up. Yeah, so you preferably you want this as like a teaching game for like kids, and then you pick the topic that either you want to teach them or the one that they are interested. in I wish most. I had thought of this or, or or had had this in particular when my kids were super young. I mean, this this basically teaches you how to study. Yeah, because you basically you look at the card, right? And you yeah. Kind of, you look at the picture. You have ten seconds to to look at it. Yeah. Memorize what you see on it, and then ask, answer a random question on it. Yeah. Right? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Like, that's a great way to learn how to study. That's what I'm saying, dog. Yeah. I think it's a good start. If you have young kids, like, you should just grab these. Yeah. And I love dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs is probably the best one, but I don't know. Maths. <laughs> Math. Maths. Pictures. <laughs> like, maths is not a word, right? Maths is not. I honestly thought when I saw that, I saw maths, so I did not know it said maths. Well, it's yeah. just like math. But I think math. Mass is a real word. Yeah. I think Google is getting a lot of work today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like, even say maths. maths no, right because now. it's not a word. It, it yeah. Maths. Math is short for mathematics. Math and mass are both short for mathematics. Yeah, because mathematic is a like adjective. This, yeah. And mathematics is a noun. You know. The more you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, we're, see, we're learning stuff too. It's for old people too. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> well, it's the only including the dinosaurs. <laughs> you can tell it's mass because the only country that uses math is the United States. It's usually we're the ones that don't use we're the, the word. We're the greatest <laughs> nation on earth, Juan. Except for when it comes to English. <laughs> <laughs> We don't speak English, we speak American. <laughs> we speak American. Yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Encounter. Uh, so, so uh, one, are... you're going to have to tell these what exactly. So, one is a, like a small dungeon encounter? No, so one of them is a prison. Ah, okay. The other one is a wagon. Uh, encounter or whatever, like a like a wagon, like, like a raid, a, ra yeah, like a wagon raid. Oh, okay. Uh, these are supposed to be uh, usable with your warlock tiles. Yeah. This is prison break and wagon ambush. Okay, so the wagon ambush, I believe, is actually from Lost Minds of Pandelver. Okay. Uh, you can actually, if you've got the starter box, the original starter box, right? That first you major just encounter with kobolds, right you could just lay this out and, and play it. So that's kind of cool. Ooh. I like that. All right. They come with a few acrylic standees, but uh, there is, I believe, one actual mini in each one. So, like, this one has the, sh the sheriff, but then, like, the, the bailiffs are all, like, acrylic. That's a little and weird. Then, yeah, yeah, it's a little weird. And then this one, I think it's, like, whoever is, like, like whoever the main thief is, like, the main bandit. Bandits, yeah. And then the other bandits are acrylic. So it's a little okay. weird that way, but I still think it's pretty cool, and it's actually pretty cost-effective, too. Like, you get the whole encounter. Mm-hmm. 
for like 30 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, the boxes aren't huge. They're like... Yeah, but okay. you get like the whole seat. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Crisis Protocol. So we're just going to knock these out. We got Bullseye and Daredevil. Mysterio right. and Carnage. Uh, Punisher and Taskmaster. Blade and Moon Knight. And Rhino. And Rhino. Um, I, these are all restocks. Yeah. Every last one. And I think there's only one left of each. Because... Yeah. Yeah. People ordered them. I ordered extra. <laughs> so, so the giant space hamster. So this is a paint night kit, yeah. but we only got one. And I I can't see it that I ordered only one. I think that like it's a limited edition. Yeah. So they just sent us one? Either they only sent you one or but they maybe all say limited ordered. edition on it. Do they? Yeah, they all say limited edition. All right. I don't know about that. I think this because this one in the title of your thing even says limited edition. Like, yeah, that was weird that it that it says. So that. I think maybe this might just be like the exclusive thing. Like I don't remember seeing the other one say that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all say limited edition. But if I can get more, I'll get more. But that, like that's just that's kind of cool. He's a little goofy guy. Yeah, it's uh, it's um Spelljammer, mm -hmm. Spelljammer Space Hamster. Set up. No f***ing clue. I, <laughs> you know what uh, this? I was gonna try and say something down my ass. So, so here's the thing. Like, <laughs> I told you that last week that we lost, or it wasn't last week, it was the week before. I said we lost both of our, our uh, reps. Reps. Did and the guys? Did this you was guys his. Say you? No, no. This was his last day. Oh. And you know he's pitching me the stuff, and this was one of the games he pitched, and he explained it to me, and I was like, okay, just send me it. Send me, you know, three. And he's like, well, if you buy X, you get X. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll get C. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's what happened there. I, uh, it was, I'm it trying was, to think if I, I even was trying to give him a little bit bag. more on his paycheck. Setup his paycheck. is set up as a classic rummy style board game. Uh, perfect for lovers of tiles and tactics. Oh. I so, know it's a so it's like Romeo. It's not like Romeo. Okay. <laughs> looks like part cheesy. It looks like part cheesy. <laughs> this is an old person's game. Like my, I could but see. But it's for fa It's actually supposed to be for families. Like yeah. It, it even says well, on the box, it's like family game. Yes. It's like eight. And it, it, is, it is definitely for family. So what, what this is is your grandma is going to buy this. Yes. And every time you go to her f***ing house, she's going to pull this game out. And, and you are like, oh, I guess I'll play it, yeah, Grandma. It's fun. <laughs> After, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just not a game that you would pull out in from your collection. You yeah. don't have it in your collection. Grandma has this. We'll go play it at Grandma's house if we want to play it. That's what this is. <laughs> well, it does say recommended ages 60 plus. Does it really? Oh. No. Oh, <laughs> I just okay. made that oh. <laughs> Man, I believe it. I believe it because it looks like it. <laughs> Uh, all right. I mean, even even the box looks like it's from the '60s. It yeah. does. <laughs> uh, restock of friends and foes. I cannot believe we can still get this. This, that, this was a Kickstarter exclusive when it first came out. No longer. No longer. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's got a big, big ass dragon. In it. Rio Z Janeiro. This is talk another, about it. This is another one with the street date. I actually haven't opened mine. I have not opened mine. I was I was fucking busy today, uh, and actually I left it here. So. Uh, but I will open it tomorrow. Uh, when I understand it, it adds it adds a couple of mechanics to it. Anything that adds. And this is the base Zombicide, right? This isn't like something to like this one is of the, for any of the other ones. That's, this is for second edition. Is this like one of the? This isn't like one of the first ones that they've done for like just base Zombicide, is it? This is the first one that they've done straight to retail. Like okay. Usually everything that that they, that Cool Mini or Not does for Zombicide gets kickstarted. Okay. All right. And then certain things will go to retail. Certain things just disappear. Uh, this is the first one that never been, never hit Kickstarter, just went straight to retail, that they manufactured. There also was the uh, the Marvel Zombies uh, right. Heroes Resistance that okay. they let somebody else manufacture for them. But that never went to retail. That, okay. It was only sold online. That's very cool, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. So uh, we we got a limited number of these, and I know we've got some. So what do we got there? So, uh, definitely some new types of zombies. Yeah. Look at that chonky man. I hope you can put him back on the actual screen because that, that chonky man, dude. I love yeah, that guy. Yeah, that, that, I don't know what that, that what that's about. It almost looks like what they what they have in the Kickstarter, these uh, daily spawns. So each each one has a special ability. It might just be I was like going to say, these all look like just straight up characters. None of these look like abominations. They actually zombies. might be characters, yeah. Yeah. They're just painted. Yeah, that weird. guy in the middle. You see that guy in the middle, right? 
Yeah, the, the, guy, the, double, the du double Diamond Gardens, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's I love that guy. I love his design. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like me for real. <laughs> All right, so we are getting Scarlet and Violet in all week long. There is a street date for this, too. Yep. All right. Uh, actually, by the time you see this, it'll be street date, so we're mm -hmm. fine. Uh, we, we did get allocated, by the way. Very, very, very heavily. Like, yeah. We were supposed to get 200. I found that out today. Yeah. <laughs> we were supposed to get 260 boxes combined with the three vendors. Yeah. Uh, so we got 33 from one. Yeah. 69 from another. Like... These are not numbers. Like, wait, 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 wait. So you said you got ninety in total? No, no, no. Sixty-three no. and ninety, or it's thirty-three and sixty. Six, thirty-three and sixty-nine. So okay. that we're early, we're up to what a hundred and okay. And then I'm not sure what we got from. I was gonna say if you're gonna say one guy sent us like one or two, I'm no. I think it's, I think it's only twelve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you gotta remember, I ordered forty. From yeah. That, from that guy. So I ordered forty from that guy. I got twelve. I ordered 120, I got 69. Nice. I ordered, I think, 80, I got 33. So that's th those. God. That's how bad we got allocated. Yeah. Uh, we got allocated on the booster bundles. Yeah. Like, I ordered, like, 200 of those. Yeah. And you saw it. We got one case of them today, 25. I think we get another case. We get another 25. And then, like, 16 from the, from the third one. So, I mean, we're just, we, we're getting hammered. And they're not making any more. Wait, Already? What? Oh yeah, no. So wait, they basically said this is the print run. That's the print run. What? Yeah, uh, I was uh -oh. shocked because they, they're like, "This is what they're getting. This is it." That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So what the, what's going to happen is that this all this product is going to spike in value. A hundred percent. So we have to be careful uh, about selling the scalpers. I'm sure that news is going to get out. Now, it's Pokemon Company. They've done this before, where they say they're not going to print anymore, and then and they then wind they up coming back and printing. So much of it that you can't sell enough of it. Yeah. Um, so, but that's that's the word right now. Yeah. That this is it. This was the one shipment, and that's all we got. Uh, but we did. We got the we got the bundles. We got the ETBs. We got the booster boxes. We got the uh, deck the check lane the blisters. boosters. The three the three pack blisters and the individual blisters. What else, Juan? Is that it? Did we end on Scarlet and Violet? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, this week there's no board game week. It's not board game week this yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, and we got uh, a Magic Crew release coming up in three weeks. Yeah. I think it's three weeks. It's uh, March of the Machines. March of the Machines. It's the not the last set of the block. Uh, there's another set coming out that's I just I, I'm fucking wizards, man. <laughs> so many sets. So the other set is this weird. I'm gonna call it a Yu-Gi-Oh set because there are only <laughs> there's only five cards in the f***ing set boosters. What? Two, in a Magic set? Uh, yeah, five cards you're, in the set boosters. You're bugging. No, no. From from minimum from from two to four rares in it, <laughs> and no commas. There's no commas, which is total bullshit. Because if you're printing everything at uncommon or rare, that just means those are commons and uncommons. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, okay. And then the collector boosters are six six cards in them. Or seven cards in them. And up to five rares. Oh right? What the f***? I, I don't f***ing get it. And, the price, and they're more expensive. What? <laughs> they're more expensive than your f***ing, you know, 20 card set booster pack and your f***ing... You know, 20 seven. card boot yo i wish we lived in a day with 20 card set boosters isn't the set boosters 20 cards no it's like oh no, no they're 12, they're 12 and then the drafts are 15. that All would right. be funny uh anyways so that's march of the machine watsy what are you doing huh? we need to have a one-on-one -on -one of <laughs> or i guess a two-on-one there, there, need, there needs to be an intervention like somebody needs yeah. to go over there and just smack <laughs> it out of something hasbro <laughs> watsy <laughs> Snap out of it! I can't. Yeah. We need to have a talk. <laughs> we're, we're concerned for you. We, we love you and we want the best for you. But Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Lay off the crack I'm pipe! Tear it up over here. This is great. Uh. It's bad enough they print the same exact commander decks every single year, just changing out the commanders with the new set. Yeah, yeah. Like the cards are virtually the same in every deck, mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. Oh, you get 10 new cards. Yeah. 10. <laughs> I can count that on both my hands. <laughs> I wish I could count that high. <laughs> That's my maths. That, that's his maths. <laughs>
Alright, so what else we got, Juan, now that we've, uh, you know, made Wizards <laughs> off of this? Um, that's, that's all I got. That's it? Yeah. That's it? All the binders we got in. We didn't yeah, show no you. binders? We got a bunch of binders. We got all the card sleeves. I think he showed that last week. No, he didn't. Well, we apparently he never didn't showed get us the card sleeves. We didn't get them because they're not on the screen. Right, so. exactly. So they don't exist. Yeah. But actually, seriously, though, we got eight pocket binders. You got 18 pockets. You got 24 pockets. All mm -hmm. shapes and sizes. Yeah. Zippers, not zippers. Come get them. Yeah. Honestly, those eight pockets without the zippers, probably the best deal of your life if you're on a budget. $11 for a binder. Come get them, man. Not even going to lie. Good trade binder. Uh, also, a purple binder, which you never see in the store. <laughs> so. I don't know why he's so excited about a purple it's binder. It's just because they never make purple, and that shade of purple looked really good. Mm -hmm. I, there's just something about mm -hmm. that purple binder. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. All, right. <laughs> All right, well, everybody, I'm Anthony. And I'm Josh. And I'm Juan. And I do math. And he does math. <laughs> he does math. <laughs> math. I can't even say that word. No, math. It's terrible. Like, math, it's not, not a real, real word. word. It's not real. <laughs> Very difficult to say. Yep. Uh, that's what's happening in Myrtle Beach Games this week. We'll see you next week.